Oops, Nick. This makes me angry. As a Christian <laughs> and as a person, Justin Welby condemns cruelty of UK's asylum policy. He's saying that it, he, he's talking about the harmful rhetoric of invaders. Everyone's been very concerned about this rhetoric. So this is the church once again sticking its oar into politics. And it's always a lefty oar. It's always what the Labour Party would say. Really, it's these liberals that have infiltrated the church. They should really stick to Christianity, but they've ditched that in, in favour of, you know, left-wing politics. And we've had... It, it's a very bad time for Christianity. We've had a... There was a priest on GB News the other day saying that he advocated the ban on prayer near abortion centres, which is bizarre, and that he was pro-abortion, which was also strange to me. Yeah. But then we've also had the uh, Crown Prosecution Service saying that reading the Bible in public, parts of it may be illegal. So Christianity is <laughs> under fire and we're trying to survive. And, yet you have people and, like and it's dwindling as well. We it's saw, dwindling with the census. We saw the census showed that it's, it's fallen to like less than half of the UK is, is Christian. And, and in, by 2050, yep. uh, Islam is going to be the largest religion in the UK. Exactly. And, it, it, and you think, well, we would be rallying to defend Christianity. Instead, mm. he's poking his nose into politics. And loving your neighbour doesn't mean let, letting anyone into the country and then, you know, that doesn't love your immediate neighbour who's already in the country. You can love them from a distance. Yeah, yeah. Can... but what about your actual neighbour who's yeah. already next door, you know, is a citizen? Yeah. So it's all this sort of woolly sort of... Yes, you can always find a, a quote to back this up, but it's just well be sticking his nose in again. Yeah. Jonathan, are you well, rabidly right-wing as well? Uh, no, no, I don't even know what I am. Uh, so, he, well, he says um, a compassionate system does not mean open borders, but a disposition of generosity and readiness to welcome those who need it, um, who genuinely need, you know, asylum. Now, you can't argue with that, but then again, he's not really saying anything. It's kind of, it's a bit of a platitude, but I mean, I agree. We should completely treat these people as uh, individuals, as, you know, humans in need of help, but he doesn't really answer any of the, the tough questions that come with it. Yeah. Just sort of being like, we should be nice. Like, yeah, it's nice to be nice. Yeah, and if, if, you, if you continue to be nice and have an open borders policy, as we, as we basically do now with such a, an easily exploitable asylum system, uh, you're going to continue to have people coming across uh, making that very dangerous crossing. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible system all around. It's bad for them. It's, it's bad for us. There should be uh, legal avenues for, uh, for, for immigration rather than this, uh, this illegal yeah. the system. We all agree it's a bad policy. So well be jumping in and saying, I also think it's a bad policy and I really should be representing the church. It's just not helpful, is it? It's, not, it's just not a useful intervention. He's not providing solutions, which mm. I think uh, religious people should do.